G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to get local SEO backlinks so you can dominate with local SEO tips and tricks. Let's jump into it. Now, I'm going to give away one of my really, really juicy local SEO secrets to acquiring awesome, awesome local SEO backlinks. That's going to be further in the video. But firstly, guys, I just want to let you know an update of the tool. If you're watching this a little bit later, it will probably be out. But for those of you that are eagerly waiting, I have some exciting news. Now to let you know, we're about a month away from the first launch. We're about to give a couple of my SEO mates some tests at it to run it through and make sure that it's a perfect tool for you guys. Because I want to make sure the very first product that we launch, you've at least got everything where you can start with it. We will be building on it. So you will notice that lots of the roadmap has lots of sections, but I just want to let you know, anyone, anyone that enters their details down below. So if you sign up down below in the email, so if you sign up down below in the email form down there, I guarantee you when it comes to launching the tool, you guys will be looked after with more of a discount than what's actually shown on the website. So as an example, if we're launching it for a monthly price, you guys are going to get a significant discount. So if you want a significant discount on this tool when we launch it to make your life so much easier, make sure you enter your details down below so you can get notified and kept up to date on it. All right, let's jump into how to get some local SEO backlinks. Now you might be wondering, why is it even important to get local SEO backlinks? Isn't a backlink from any powerful source the same? No not in this day and age. You want to get things that are locally based to you and relevant to you. Like I always harp on with, you want to try and close that backlink gap. Well, getting something from a local source can be fantastic because if you think about it, if you're a roofing company in Tampa, Florida, and you're trying to tell Google, hey, hey, Mr. Google, I'm an actual business located in Tampa. What's the easiest way of doing that? Yeah, you can put it up on your website, but you can also put on your website that you're a purple monkey dishwasher. So how does Google actually know that you're a business, a roofing company located in Tampa, Florida? What do you do? Will you acquire local backlinks? Let me show you some awesome tips and tricks on how I go about doing this. So what do we do from here? How do we find those? Well, I use search operators. All you're going to need is Google. All right. All you're going to need for now is Google and a scraping tool. And I'll show you a free one momentarily. You can see here on my screen, and I'm going to zoom in for you so it is a little bit better to see. Tampa, I put Tampa in quotation marks and quotation mark businesses. Now, let me hit enter and show you exactly why I do this. The reason I do this is because this is going to look very specifically for businesses in Tampa. Now, it might seem a little bit dramatic because you can be like, Ronnie, that, a bakery could come up that's in Tampa. You're correct. But let me just show you what's starting to come up. Oh, look at this built in Tampa companies. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, the Tampa government directory. Okay, wow. The city of Tampa, business resources. Yelp. Oh, Tampa Bay Times. What an interesting thing. I wonder if there's a legendary guy that can sell Haro links that can get us in the Tampa Bay Times. wonder who there is. Oh, Tampa Bay Downtown Partnerships. Variety of businesses and companies working with startups. Top Tampa Bay business news. Look at, look at all of this exciting stuff coming up. Look at all of this. Tampa directory, business directory. Oh, what a fantastic thing. Look at all of these pages. Fantastic. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. All of these are locations where you can try and get something for your business mentioned in here. Look at that. Look at that. Now, are you going to land something on every single thing? Like I said, Tampa Bay, you know, trying to get listed in there. A little bit challenging. Not too hard though. A couple of hundred bucks and you've got yourself in the... um in the Tampa Bay uh, paper there. And all of a sudden you've got a nice local link for your roofing website that's located there. Google really, really knows you're in Tampa. That's the way I start with it. Let me show you another one. Another one I like doing is just simply Tampa Bay business listings. So we put this in here. We can start to see that all other things are going to start to pop up. Tampa directory. Look at this. The local directory for Tampa. Look at all of these things. Now what you'll find what you'll typically find is that when you just do businesses, you'll find that like I've found that that's the best search operator. I'm going to be completely honest. That's the best search operator I've found. You can do local directory. You can do all of this sort of crap. Doesn't really work. Doesn't really work. I've just found that business listings, 
you know, businesses, that's a fantastic thing. Because what do you think? When you think of businesses, what do you think of? List, a long list of something, okay? That is where you can really start to get specific. And if you want to be even more creative, you can just put on an end on there as well and be like roofing or roofer. You're going down the funnel a little bit more, but you'll start to get things a little bit more specific. And again, depending upon how much time you have. But like I showed you, that's a very, very simple way of getting local backlinks because I've been asked this question so many times by people that I consult with. So as an example, there's a lot of roofers out there that they, they're they happy to spend, you know, like a couple of hundred bucks on SEMrush, maybe a thousand bucks a month on trying to do something when it comes to just optimizing their business. And they just want to have a chat with me a couple of times, maybe a month. That's it. All right. The thing is... This is the question that always comes up. Ronnie, how do I get those local links? Like, where do I even look? This is where you can start. Look at that long list that I just showed you at the start. But what's an easier way of getting a long list? Well, let me show you how you can extract the data. So let's just say we've entered all of this information in here. And like I said, look at all of these additional ones. Here's the South uh, Tampa Chamber. Fantastic. Getting a, a link from them, listing your business on the local chamber, the e-commerce chain. All of that is a fantastic method. But here's where you get a bit of a list. Now, what I do is, look, I'm going to be honest, guys. I use, I have everything, HexoFit, HexoWatch, Hexify, all this, all of them, all of them. I'm going to be completely honest here. Now, you can use something like this to extract a long list of this, or I've found, I'm going to be honest, I don't know this tool. I've literally just downloaded it for this video but it's called i believe it's called the google SERP scraper chrome extension is what i put in this is it here and you can see that it pulls down all of the data for you as well so you can start to have a look like here's your list give it to your va give it to yourself because you do this once guys you do it once it's done it's finished you can go and build in those local links now, going forward with Google, it's only getting harder and harder. So I think having local links, try to get a few of them if you possibly can. And look at the most important ones. They'll pop in up the top both times on Google. So the search operators are also leave down in below. Let's look at the next step. Now, I'm going to give you my secret. I'm going to give you my secret to how you can get local SEO links. All right. This is my big, big secret my big secret and I'm giving it to you. So make sure you like and subscribe if this never heard this before and it's a juicy, juicy secret. Guys, think about it. You're not going to be able to go, if I'm a roofer and I'm trying to set up my roofing company in Tampa, but I go Tampa and I go roofing, all right? What am I going to see? Well, I'm going to see a lot of my competitors, aren't I? And to all of my competitors, I'm exactly that, a competitor. Well, how would I get links from roofers in Tampa? I'm not. I'm not. Unless they're my mate. Unless they're my mate, they're not going to give me a link. So how do I get local SEO links from other businesses that are located in Tampa? I, I wonder what I could do. Oh, I can change the game. Well, as an example, what would you think that's maybe relevant to roofing? Remodeling. Remodeling. Why not that? Okay. Now, am I competing with these guys? No. But are they are they located in Tampa? Yeah. If Google were to look at their backlink profile, what's the chances? What's the chances that their backlink profile is very similar to that of the roofers? Probably pretty bloody close. <laughs> All right, so this is a fantastic method that you can utilize on ways you can get local SEO links because is old mate going to have a problem? These, these guys, true Tampa bathroom remodeling. I reach out to them. Hey guys, this is what's going on. Um, I've got a website. I'm setting this up. This is a, it's a roofing, roofing company. I noticed that you guys do remodels. Well, um, would you be open to the idea of talking about how a leaking roof, if I put up a guest post of it, how a leaking roof can actually cause you to not only have to pay for a leaking roof that damages the ceiling, but it also could damage the kitchen and you might need to pay for a, a kitchen remodel as well. So it's focused still on what's relevant to you. Go for it, Ronnie. Go for it, mate. We'll put it up. Yep. As long as it's not AI as an example, we'll put it up. Don't even need to pay for it. How easy is that? 
compared to going to the roofers. What's the chances? I'm not giving any roofers that are in my game that are direct competitors with me a link. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. So this is one way, my secret, secret tip on how I get local links. And keep it in the family, so to speak. So as an example, if even if you're, like if I was a beekeeper, would I want a remodeling link? Even if it's in Tampa? Not really. You want to try and keep things relevant. So if you're in the restaurant game, try and get it from other types of restaurants perhaps, or maybe even something that does catering. So it's still along those lines. You want to think about, well, how would Google look at the backlink profile of this service? Would it be kind of relevant to what my one would be? Yes, remodeling absolutely is going to be very, very similar to roofing. Is it going to be the same for lawn care? Eh, an arborist? Eh, probably not. But the remodeling is. So that's why I like getting a lot of remodeling links. Now, something else that I would suggest you do is perform the old faithful backlink gap analysis. Now, if you're a loyal subscriber to my videos, thank you very much. And if you're a newbie, I'll put a link for you on the backlink gap analysis because we're not really looking at competitors, but it's a good place to start because if you can filter by the backlinks, maybe in the URL, specifically look for the term tamper. That's something that can be done in the when you're looking at comparing the links. It is a very, very similar process. I'm not going to do it today. I'll have the link to the backlink gap analysis. Very straightforward. Anyone can do it. Just for my loyal subscribers, I'm not going to waste your time. Now, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you get fantastic knowledge from my nice little local SEO secret here because if th this is honestly a fantastic local SEO tip and trick. Honestly, it is because a lot more people are inclined. And then what do you also build? Relationships. You're going to build relationships with other businesses. So if the roofer then starts getting work with the remodeler, all of a sudden, hey, Ronnie, um, can you do our stuff too, mate? Great way. It's a great, great way of getting those links and building connections as well. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Now, if you want to have a chat with me, still doing free 15 minute calls, link will be down below. Make sure you sign up for our local SEO tool that is going to be coming out soon. If not, maybe you're watching it when it's already out. Links for it will be down below. Enter in the form and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you are going to get a discounted price compared to anyone else that just buys the tool straight from the website or any link in the future. Thanks guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you around.